Murphy is the author of the book, The 1% Solution, How Daily Small Improvements Produce Massive Long-Term Results. This is the kind of thing I wish we would help our students with, our kids with. It's something you can do by buying the book or chatting with them about these things. But really, the art of getting things done, the art of, as he says, massive uh, long-term results just by small daily improvements. Uh, Eamon Percy joins me on the line right now. Eamon, let's uh, let's let's get right to it. I, I asked you uh, when we were booking you to come on the show uh, for the next couple of weeks to just give me a couple of specifics that people could take and discuss maybe with kids or, or younger people, millennials can listen to and say, okay, I'm going to enact that. Mike, great to be back on your show, and I'm particularly thrilled because this is exactly why I wrote the book to help young people and help them through the extremes in the economy that you were talking about earlier so they can build great careers over a long time. So thank you very much for having me back on your show. Well, let's start with a couple of things. Sure. There's two habits right out of the book. Habit 27, with respect to work for kids, what I recommend is that they do work that they enjoy and follow the money. So they often get the advice about just being passionate about your work, which is important. But given the volatility of the world that we're working in, that we're moving towards, I strongly believe that young grads should start doing both work that they enjoy and pursue paths that ultimately will help them produce great income and great wealth. And over a long period of time, it won't happen overnight, I understand the stresses they're going through, but over a long period of time, that's how they can build a great, great career. And I document that in the book. Well, you know, it's interesting you say that because one of the things we hear uh, so regularly from people who've spent all that money, you know, borrowed, they've got student loans, etc., they come out of university and they have no marketable skills. Mm-hmm. You know, they find out there's not a job market and there's lots of areas we can go. I could be sarcastic about it, but it's a serious subject. So, yeah, and I, I, that's why I love you. Say, follow the money. What are you going to do with this? Follow stuff you like, but also start getting realistic about it. You want to, in the end, Uh, have it result in uh, employment, gameful employment. That's exactly it. And I can use the key word, which is skills, as opposed to talent. So the next habit I'd I'd like to talk about is habit 28. And to me, the most important advice I could give a young person out of high school or university is that they do have to create those unique, valuable, and enduring skills, skills that create value in the marketplace, so that over a long, long period of time, they're bringing something to the market that creates value. And to me, I think those skills should be things that are transferable. So as the economy changes and as the world changes, as you document very well on your show, those transferable skills around leadership, around sales, around uh, financial understanding of the world are able to help them build these great long-term careers. But it really is about that toolkit of fantastic skills that they need going into the marketplace. Yeah, and I just see, you know, people have got to get realistic about this. This is going to be a monstrous challenge for young people. Hey, and I might, I might add, you can go to Amazon.ca and you can get the book, The 1% Solution. But here's something, even just uh, also, he's not mentioning it, but I'm going to, uh, walks the walk. Because uh, when you look at some of the profits, they're going to go to uh, STEM student scholarships. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I think that's a fantastic thing. I mean, everyone can have a chance to do their little part, but I would really recommend... You know, having these conversations, that's what the book will do for you. It'll spur a conversation with your kids. Uh, don't look for the school system to do it. Don't look for the, the great gestalt to do it. No, get aggressive with it. You know, get the book, and then you can just discuss it. And even, uh, I'm going to get you back next week because there's so much more to go on this topic, but uh, that's great stuff. Do work you enjoy. Follow the money. Create a unique value and enduring skill set. All great advice.